Well, the problems are piling up, and now so too the calls to hold it up, not just from Republicans, but from some Democrats, Georgia Democratic Congressman John Barrow, one of them. Congressman, welcome. You are particularly emphasizing it's the individual mandate that needs to be pushed back a bit, right? Well, thank you for having me, Neil. Yes, I, I know Johnny did this issue. I voted against the bill for many reasons, including the burdens of the individual mandate, but I've also been a sponsor of legislation to repeal or delay the individual mandate. The problems with the rollout of the exchange is one more compelling reason why we need to delay the implementation of the individual mandate. All right. Uh, how long would you delay it? Well, as long as necessary, uh, if necessary, up to a year. The point is, we've seen the administration give businesses uh, a one-year break on the uh, penalties for the employer mandate. If we can do it for the employers, I think there's no reason why we can't do it for individuals all across the country as well. Do you think, sir, that the, the, the reluctance of the part of the administration so far to do as you recommend is the idea that that's what Republicans were, you know, really arguing about when we had the shutdown and the debt brinksmanship? Um, and that to, to ch suddenly do a 180 and go ahead and do that, it looks like uh, he's caving into them. Well, each side is, is, is playing this game of blaming the other and right, pointing right. fingers. But the, bo the bottom line is this thing is not ready to roll out, and there's no way we can impose this mandate on folks if the only mechanism of folks to enroll just isn't ready yet. So, Congressman, let me get your reaction as well to a lot of your prominent Democratic colleagues, including those within the administration, who said, well, truth be told, we, we did think there was a possibility that some would lose their coverage, some might end up paying more for that coverage. I don't remember it being sold that way. Now, you said you were against this vote, against it, concerned about it, but many of your Democratic colleagues were for this gung-ho and never, ever raised that possibility. Do you think, in retrospect, had they done so, this thing would have even passed? Absolutely. I heard the discussion before, and one of the patterns we see over and over again in Washington, and both sides are guilty of this, it's over-promising over and under-delivering. In this case, the Democrats were over-promising what this thing was going to do, and the other, other side's guilty of over-dramatizing the results. I do know that it was going to have a huge impact on folks in the individual market. It was one of the reasons why I voted against the bill. The idea that you're no longer going to be able to have low-cost, low-benefits insurance, and everybody's going to have to trade up and get expensive and much more extensive coverage may sound good to policymakers, but it's going to result in a lot of sticker shock to folks who are no longer going to have the kind of insurance they had. It would have been better for the administration and folks pushing this bill to explain the fine print in the bill so that folks wouldn't be surprised now about things that have been in it from the very beginning. Do you think this thing's falling apart? Well, this is just one more thing we need to fix. There's no, no question about it. There are things like the employer mandate, the individual mandate, the IPAB provision. There are lots of things in that need to be repealed and, and fixed. This is just one more huge thing that needs to be fixed. Um, Kathy Sevilli is uh, testifying before a committee. Uh, you're on. And, and uh, a lot of your colleagues are saying she should go. She should resign, should she? She's going to face an awful lot of frustrated members of Congress tomorrow because the folks we represent are frustrated as hell by this. Folks are sick and tired of folks who are overpromising and underdelivering, and the promises made about this exchange is just the latest in a whole long string of overpromises. Congressman Barrow, thank you, sir, very much.